Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Cars. Welcome to the Las Vegas track guide and setup. And first of all, apologies. This is going up very late after the actual real life. Uh, well, actual real life, same thing. The real life Las Vegas GP. I've been away for the past three weeks, and two of it, I've been really, really ill. And uh, yeah, I'm finally back. So here we go, Las Vegas. It's an inverted piggy. If you can look at the track map. But that fun fact aside. Let's get back to uh, the important business around here. And once again, thank you to all subscribers that we have over here. And uh, also, thank you to that one person. I can't remember your name. I can't, I can't get the screenshot. But thanks for the suggestion to include uh, the ERS modes, the Grand Prix thingy and all that. So here we are in Grand Prix mode to show you how I warm up the tires and also the ERS deployment strategy that I prefer for this track. Uh, there may be other people with other suggestions you can try that out uh, different ERS modes but here it is how I'm going to show you for reference the benchmark lab will be against a lab that I did only on hot lab throughout the lab and uh, here you're going to see me changing through ERS modes every few seconds uh, depending on the corner and now let's get the hot lab started to get a good start it always starts from the last corner right just before you enter the main straight so get a good exit here and i like to keep it in medium ers for las vegas into turn one even though i may lose half a tenth here as you'll see but it gives you extra battery to use down the back straight and you can gain more than a tenth from that and into turn one i look for this red and white curb on the right hand side that's going to be your breaking point it's roughly around 70 75 meters um, based on the 50 and 100 meter board distance so now into turn one itself on this left curb here you can take a little bit of it but not too much and uh, you can avoid it completely also if you want to on the exit i like to short shift to fourth gear and then immediately back on full throttle as soon as this barrier on the left straightens out a little bit that is going to be my turning in point and uh, from here onwards it's all flat and you can turn up your ERS back to hot lap mode. No need to use overtake just yet. Uh, it's not really going to be that effective in the higher gears. And now at the end of sector one almost, you look for this red and white cup on the left. That's going to be your breaking point. And once again, I'm turning my ERS mode down to medium. And because this slower section, you don't really need to use that much battery. And unfortunately, you have to take a lot of this inside curb in third gear or fourth gear whichever you prefer and use the space on the exit stay tight to the left and then let the car drift to the right hand side and when you're around 70 75 meters um yeah this is where you're going to be braking in a straight line initially but you don't have to brake 100 percent all the way so just heavy braking at the start and then immediately start lifting off just very little brakes as you can see i'm just coming on and off the brakes Cut this left-hand curb here and this is going to help you open up the next right-hander and then the following left-hander and you're going to gain time all the way through if you do this right. And now, speaking of that second left-hander here, on the exit, turn up your battery to overtake just for probably two seconds and then turn it down to hot lap again and immediately because of that we gain two turns. Uh, that's really good. And now the second last heavy braking zone on the track. Look for this overhead bridge or that 100 meter board on your right. And as soon as you pass that, once you straighten out the car, you're going to be braking in a straight line and then trail brake into the corner. And let's see how to do it. It's a little bit tricky sometimes. There's two ways to do it. And uh, the first way, the cheeky way is bonk bonk. Surprise, you have to hit the curb. And uh, if the ball out is there, just take it out. The other way is you completely avoid this curb and go around it to get a smoother exit but it's roughly the same immediately on the exit put up your ers back to overtake and turn it off once you reach 50 percent battery remaining because you're going to be needing that on the exit of the last corner drs wide open which is way way further than last year's game so drs effect is a little bit lower this year and now the final braking zone Look for that 100 meter board, which is also going to be in line with the red and white curb on the floor. And avoid the left hand curb here. 
uh, this is going to be unsettling if you take it so i prefer to avoid this uh, so i get a smoother exit and i can go flat sooner cut this right hander and uh, ideally you want to be a little bit more to the left and be flat out while taking this curb itself but to each their own second left hander here is flat and now ers up to overtake all the way down to the finish line i turned it off accidentally to hot left by habit but uh, yeah you can leave it in overtake all the way to the line and there you go seven tenths improvement a, a little bit of track evolution which is only usually three tenths around here i think from the start till the end of the session but nevertheless let's move on to the setup here and make sure you leave a like subscribe and uh, you know leave a good comment if you found some extra time with this setup and ers deployment strategy for the wings we're going to be using six five as the high downforce believe it or not uh, the lower downforce version you can use way lower than this all the way down to zero zero 90 10 100 on the transmission quite standard in my setups and you can use 20 off throttle for the race session and then we move on to the suspension geometry all minimum as usual and in the suspension page this is where we have quite a few tricks as usual right you set up your suspension correctly you can do anything with your arrow and you'll feel there's no difference in the car so 39 one on the suspension soften the front a little bit to give it a little bit more mechanical grip in the slower corners uh, while keeping it balanced in the high speed corners one rear gives you very good exit and uh, 21 21 anti-roll bar is the way to go 22 60 is the preferred ride height i am going with and then we move on to the brakes 100 percent pressure 56 bias and full tire pressures which is pretty much the way to go in f124 so hope you enjoyed this and i will leave you with the full speed hot lap after this so you can see how the lap unfolds in real time so yeah no more time trials i guess for now unless uh, uh you know i'm lazy to prepare <laughs> but yeah there you go thank you for the suggestions see you very very soon for qatar in two days